Hi, I'm Joe with Gramophone, and I love subwoofers. And I was excited when I was thinking about the possibility of SVS showing us some new subwoofers, but a product I didn't know anything about until this morning is now sitting here right next to us. And I'm here with our friend Nick Brown, uh, Vice President of Marketing at SVS. How you doing, Nick? I'm doing great, Joe. Thanks so much for coming out to visit us at Exponer this week. Oh, thanks for having us. And we did a video not long ago that got a very nice reaction from our from you guys, our video audience, on the SB17, which is your new top of the line sealed sub. And we kind of incorporated some things about the ported version, the PB17, because they are such similar products, except for size of the cabinet and so forth. And I think what you've got here is a direct descendant. That is absolutely true, Joe. You know, if you followed SVS for any amount of time, you'll know that uh, sort of our product development philosophy uh, revolves around having a flagship product with our finest technology and then bringing that down to smaller cabinets at lower prices. And so the SB17 Ultra Revolution, this is almost like a miniature version of that, although it's not really mini when you look <laughs> at the size of it and you certainly talk about the performance. Yep, but I think that uh, you know, knowing everything that I know, because we've got the SB17 on display at our Timonium store and we were able to do the, the uh, video in one of the theater rooms, just knowing how good that is, I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, so this will actually technically replace the uh, 4000 series in our lineup. And uh, I would say it's much more comparable in terms of performance in output and low frequency extension to our 16 Ultras, which are our original flagships. Uh, what we have is a 15 inch driver here. Uh, and like the 17 Ultras, it has a dual voice coil design. And this was really about exacting about as much precision and control of this driver as you can. Um, you know, because as you get up in size above 10, 12 inches, it really requires a lot of uh, current and, and magnetic force to be able to have that pinpoint accuracy from the driver. And so that dual voice coil design uh, allows us to have that control. But the benefit it also provided was its ability to work with the dual monoblock amplifier. Mm -hmm. And this has a 2000 watt RMS, uh, close to 5000 watts, and that's uh, conservative. Uh, peak rating, and essentially that's four <coughs> amplifiers bridged into two, and then each one of those amplifiers is connected to the dual voice coil, and again, it allows us to provide just way more current into the motor to be able to create those amazing output levels, uh, but also not trip the breaker. You know, you're able to have a much power as you need on reserve uh, through this dual monoblock amplifier design, but when you hit those big peak cinematic moments, you're not flickering the lights, you're not tripping the breaker because of how it's able to keep that power on reserve. And again, just so you don't get confused, because there's a lot of technology to talk about here, it's twin monoblock amplifiers, one of which is running one of the voice coils, the other is running the other voice coil, and the dual voice coil design is how you get so much copper in there that you can keep a more linear travel because you're talking about clearly defined notes, which again, in the subwoofer with a 15 inch driver is not such an easy thing to do. So I really admire the solution that you guys came up with that, to be able to get that kind of control. And you can really hear it in our SB17 we've got on display. Yeah, and the, that's not the only part of uh, what makes the whole system work. There's also a 295 megahertz analog devices DSP. Now this is uh, a DSP that's about uh, as powerful as you can ever see in a subwoofer. It controls everything from the thermal heat management to the flow of current going into those voice coils, controlling the driver. So there's tons of algorithmic data being processed in any given second to ensure that every part of the system is doing exactly what it should to maintain that pinpoint accuracy and also uh, be able to step up to those massive cinematic moments and do everything that it should. And really, I think the DSP is sort of an unsung <coughs> hero when it comes to subwoofers because of that. Uh, it also allowed us to add three additional parametric EQs in the uh, SVS subwoofer control app. So now you'll be able to get even more uh, refined in how you can tune it in room. And then coming soon, I know a lot of people are very excited about it, but the auto room EQ is almost there. We're just about uh, putting on the finishing touches. So the auto room EQ is another feature we were able to add because of this DSP technology that's inside the sub. And I'm really glad, Nick, you talked about the DSP because compared to the SP4000 series that this is replacing, you have six times the processing power to keep everything under control. And for me, the direct benefit of that is not only tighter, cleaner sound, but let's talk about the size of the cabinet. Absolutely. So the previous generation, the 4000 and our 16 Ultra, had the front panel display, and that added some uh, surface area to the cabinet. What we were able to do 
but the 5000 revolution is actually add an inch and a half to the driver but keep the cabinet about the same size as the uh, SB4000 here, and in the case of the ported, the PV4000. And so, you know, ultimately that allows you to integrate it into a room a little bit more easily. But on top of that, it just gives you uh, just incredible performance from a little bit more compact form factor. And the form factor is really important because, as you know, in subwoofers, people love tons of clean output in their subwoofer, but a product like the uh, 3000 micro, let's say, is fantastic as it is for that very small form factor. If you really want to pressurize a bigger room, you got to start going to a larger cabinet. So for me, the engineering challenge for you guys is how do you get all this output out of a relatively still compact cabinet? Because this is a 15 inch driver and you had, I think, a 13.5 in the 4000 series. So the SB5000's sibling, PB5000 ported base subwoofer, is also a strong contender. It has the same 15 inch driver, dual voice coils, twin 2000 watt monoblock amps with discrete output stages, DSP control. What changes is the cabinet. PB5000 is about five inches taller, three inches wider, and nine inches deeper to accommodate the three tuned ports. But if you can handle the larger cabinet, you'll get even more deep bass notes and overall output especially if you watch more movies than music, PB5000 may be your choice. You know, you're so right, Joe. It's been a very uh, effective way for us to do product design and product launches is to, to develop our best technology and then really challenge our design team to bring that to smaller form factors and to lower price points and, uh, and not feel like anyone is ever compromising on the experience, even if they don't go for the flagship. You know what? Not everyone needs a 17 inch subwoofer in a you know, 12 by 12 room. <laughs> One of these will do just fine. And you get all the benefits of the app control and the, the DSP functionality, and then the control with the dual voice coils and the amp design. So you know, it's something that uh, we're really excited to bring uh, out with the 5000 Revolution series. And, and who knows, maybe uh, down the road, we'll see it pop up in some smaller and even uh, less expensive models. Love it. Really just have one last question for you. Has your engineering and production teams been able to coordinate on when you think you'll be able to start shipping these? Now. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully Gramophone will have some in their showroom uh, within the next couple weeks uh, and uh, you'll be able to get a demo uh, soon enough. Uh, but yes, they will be shipping uh, immediately uh, as this video is uh, posting. Well, we're so happy that you've been able to come along for the riot on this because we know you share our enthusiasm for music first and foremost and of course home theater and products like this that bring it to you. Thanks so much for joining us in this video. If you haven't thus yet thus far, please like and subscribe because that helps us out a lot. Click that little bell icon so you're always notified of our upcoming content. We have SVS products available in our stores. So Timonium, Columbia and Gaithersburg, Maryland. But if you don't live anywhere near Maryland, we have SVS products available online at Sky by Gramophone. So we hope that one way or another, we can meet you sometime soon, play this product for you. We gotta get it on order. Maybe we already have, and I just don't know. I think it's on the way. <laughs> okay, perfect, Nick. And Nick, thanks to you so much for joining us and, and spending some extra time. It's gonna be a long day for you, but uh, we really appreciated the fact that you spent some time with us. And we appreciate the fact that you've watched this video. Thanks again for joining us. We we'll see you at the next one. Thanks, everyone.